So how do you get ionic equation? So this rule for ionic equation is number one, for the left side, you ionize any ionic compound, okay? So if you have water, it converts to H positive and OH negative, it splits up. If you have HCl, for example, it will split up into H positive and Cl negative. It will have NaCl, it will split into Na plus and Cl negative. That's what happens. On the left side, if you have any ionic compound, split that, ionize that. What do you do on the right side? On the right side, ionize aqueous substances or water if with a solid. So if you have water, you ionize that if it is with a solid. Although that's the case that we usually don't get in O levels. So I'll just bracket that. So the rule is pretty straightforward. On the left side, any ionic compound that you get, whether it's water, all the water is covalent, but it can split into ion, or it's Cl, which is again covalent, but can split into ion, the acid, then split that thing into ions. We say ionize it on the left side. But on the right side, only ionize the aqueous substances. Only things that are soluble in water, only ionize them. Don't change ions off. Gases don't change ions off. Solids on the right side. Okay, so let's see. Let's try to make the ionic equation of this equation. So I have magnesium. Magnesium is on the left side. On the left side, I do not have magnesium as ionic compound. So magnesium stays as magnesium. So that's the thing. Magnesium stays as magnesium. But HCl will split. HCl will form H positive and Cl negative. Okay, fair enough. On the left side, I've broken HCl into H positive and Cl negative and magnesium. On the right side, I have hydrogen stays as it is. And for magnesium, I will split it because it's aqueous. So magnesium changes to magnesium plus two. Pay attention. Magnesium changes to magnesium plus two. And chloride, which is going to change to Cl minus. Notice that balancing is not important right now. What's important is writing the correct formula. You can still refer to my video on formulas and equation if you need help in writing formulas. So there you go. Now, what did not change? What did not show any change when it comes to its chemical properties or chemical uh, combination? Its structure, that is chloride. If you notice, magnesium here is atom, but over here, magnesium is ion. Hydrogen here is ion, but over here, it is molecule. It has changed chemically. Its structure is different now. But chloride is chloride before the reaction. It's chloride after the reaction. It did not change. Things that do not change, this one, we call them spectators. Because they're just looking at other things reacting. They're not doing it themselves. So that is why we cancel them out. They are not important for our reaction. Chloride, chloride goes away. I'm left with simply magnesium plus H positive making hydrogen plus magnesium ion. And I'll balance it and that's my ionic equation.